Okay, we're back with uh, part eight here. All right, and yeah, okay. Well, there's a cup. There's one little tiny area that I want to fill out, and then we'll just sort of continue. I realize I could check on Nina and Hammer right now. Uh, Mina and Hammer, sorry, but uh, yeah, I just don't feel like it right now. Uh, okay. Up this way. Wait, am I going the right way? Yes, I am going the right way. Okay. Fuck you. Really like an axe armor soul, but whatever. Uh, okay, straight through, straight through. For some reason, I never went this way. It's just a save point, but you know, come on. Alright, let's drop down here. Fuck you! Did I already have a bat soul? Yeah, well, it didn't bring up the thing, so yeah, I did have a bad soul. It's a Sonic Wave thing. And by the way, having more of a type of soul doesn't make it more powerful, although that is the case in the sequel, Dawn of Sorrow. Okay. Okay, so I haven't been up there, but let me also check to the end here. Okay, yeah, I need to sink down to get through there. It is actually possible to get up there without the Undine soul, by the way, and, like, basically sequence break the game. Oh, I just got the killer fish soul. Text enemies underwater, perishes when out of water. Let me, uh, show you that real quick. See? You can only use that underwater, though. See, if you kind of do like that, you gotta jump and then double jump, but it's, it's very difficult to do. I have done it, but, uh, it's easiest just to use the Undine soul, so... Okay, now that we've done that, let's turn the Headhunter soul back on, and continue on with the game. You can see there's a brand new door, brand new area. A floating garden. Another wonders of the world. A cockatrice. By the name, Cockatrice, you might guess that, yes, it turns you to stone. It's a dead warrior. And a red crow. Oh, just got the red crow soul, intelligence increased by four. I'm not going to use that right now. All right. I'm actually going to go back to the beginning of this area to... Uh... Start using these elevators to go upwards. Oh, tried to move out of the way, but... That cockatrice is really more like a basilisk, though. It's the lizard parts to it. Whatever, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna complain about it. There are translation errors, like I pointed out how Kali became curly. Kinda like in the original Final Fantasy, Kali became Carrie. Which is funny, because it wasn't even supposed to be Kali, it was supposed to be Marilith. There's a lot of enemies that could turn you to stone here. If you know your mythology, it's not hard to figure out which ones can do that. Oh. Let's go this way. Oh, do I even want to go here yet? Oh, this part's a pain in the ass, man. And it's dangerous, too. That's a werewolf. Got him. 
disc armor. Level the fuck up! Dick face. Dick face werewolf. See, now that's why they called the floating gardens, because now you're. You've been kind of. You get kind of warped to areas that are floating above the rest of the castle, it isn't like a golem. No, oh, kid! Gotcha. That's nice 500 bones right there. Alright, see, now watch this. Now when I go here... All of a sudden, I'm all the way over there, so... And this part, like I said, I can't... Oh, Manticore. Ah! Which soul would actually be very helpful here? Gotcha. Just gotta be careful. I mean, you might want to use an item here. Thankfully, these guys aren't a big fucking deal if you know how to handle them, you know? Nice little background with the moon there. Alright, so let's go to the left again. Okay, and now I'm over there. And it's also some confusion, like, I'm going all left, 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 but sometimes when you go right, you wind up in a different place than where you were. It can be kind of confusing. Gotcha. Oh boy, there's a devil. Gotcha. Poor bag. Fucking werewolf. Asshole. Ah! Gotcha. filled out, go to the left again, and now we're kind of moving into another area completely. It brings you to the clock tower. So now let's, uh, move up. There's Graham. So we meet again. I'm glad to see you're unscathed. Good to see you too. Uh, I've got something I want to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Someone told me that you are to inherit Draculia's powers. I take it the lady from the church told you that, didn't she? It's not true, is it? The term inherit is incorrect. It's true, then. I was born on the very day that Dracula was de destroyed. So in short, that means that I am Dracula. That can't be right. You've been so kind and friendly to me. That is because I don't consider you a threat to my mission. But that being said, you have made it this far. I sense a power within you. Do tell me, what kind of power has awoken within you? The power to rule. What? You foolish boy, that's impossible! Huh? I can't remain here any longer. I must get to the throne. Your name is Soma, right? You are wrong, Soma. I will not allow you to rule. Jeez, what was that all about? So Graham thinks he's Dracula. We'll see about that. 
here we are in the highly dangerous clock tower area. You gotta be real careful around here. Actually, the flying armor can be very useful here. Because it allows you to control your falls a little better. Okay. Ooh, these lightning dolls, they go a Blanca on you. We all know Blanca's a troll. Nah, kid. No! Oh, shit. Hell no. I'm trying to... There we go. Bitch. Oh, here come the Medusa heads. Watch the floors crumble pretty quickly. Ah, save point, excellent. Ah, there's Yoko. Hello, Soma. Hey, Yoko, I just ran into Gran. Really? Which way did he go? He was in a rush to get to the throne. Just as I thought. There was something important in the throne room. I'm sorry, Yoko. What, what's wrong with you all of a sudden? He's not who I thought he was. He was kind to me only because he thought I was powerless. I see. But his attitude changed suddenly when I told him about my power. Well, in his mind, he thinks everything in this castle is his. So that's the reason? But it's better this way. What is? The fact that he sees you as an enemy now means you're my comrade. Does it? Why? You don't want to be on my side? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's so much fun to tease you. But this is not the time to be fooling around. Your presence here has thrown Graham into a panic. This is our chance. What sort of chance? Using his cunning mind, he's been able to evade us up until now. I don't think anyone has ever seen him panic before. I get it. Circumstances right now are making him act this way. That's exactly right. This is an excellent opportunity to trap him. Well, I must be on my way. See you. All right. You can fall down into here, but unless you can sink in the water, there's not much point. I really didn't want to get hit by that bomb. Gotcha. By the way, those spikes on the side? Yeah, they don't fucking play around. Harpy. Nah. There we go. Ah, could slide in there. Oh, fuck. That's okay. Come on. Are you kidding me? Ah! I almost did it right. Okay, do that flip thing. Oh! I didn't think you were doing that. See, there are now lots of Medusa heads. Oh. Why, you thought there'd be one Medusa head at a time? Are you an ass? Ah, oh, fuck. I do not like those lizard guys. Oh, I 
got the Medusa head soul. Fuck the lizard guy. You really want to watch out for the gold Medusa heads, because they can turn you to stone. Oh! I was facing the wrong way. I just want to take out that lightning doll from here, you know? I'm in a little bit of trouble here. I need tasty meat, a couple of mind-ups. There we go. I'd actually, ooh, level the fuck up. I can grab that heart. Ah, oh, hell. Ooh, okay, this is a fairly safe room. Let me just kill these guys and I'll stop for the day. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with, uh, we got 10 facts, we got Civilization Saturdays, and then next week...